Well, Nigel, we've seen some great action already here tonight with Women of Honor, but we have a real treat up next. Certainly is going to be a fantastic match, a huge match for this competitor. The following contest is a special Women of Honor attraction. Introducing first, making her wrestling debut out of the Ring of Honor dojo, Faye Jackson! And as Scarlett mentioned, her professional wrestling debut, but well, with that entrance, I don't see any signs of nerves, Nigel. She looks confident, there's no doubt about it, but we'll see how confident she is once that bell rings. And standing across from the ring from her is ODB. Yeah, she's got an international superstar on her plate here tonight. Some people like to, to dip their toe into the water. She's diving right into the deep end. Right into the deep end, that's it. Sink or swim. That should keep her afloat. from that flask there, Nigel. Is that from the flask or somewhere else? I don't know. Well, ODB, last time we saw her in Women of Honor action, it was right here in Nashville. Had a huge win over Taylor Hendricks. And the thread there with her in the House of Truth and Truth Martini runs deep, years long. But tonight the focus is a little different. The focus is on a woman who could define her career in the first night. Very much so. I remember my first match actually was on ABC 2020. The whole world to see. I came up short on that night, but I learned a lot from GQ Masters. For sure, as I'm sure Faye here is going to learn something from ODB. There you see a collar elbow tie up, the go behind. Faye trying to power out. <laughs> Using the glutes. Indeed. Is that glutes? Now, <laughs> ODB is asking referee Paul Turner to check that. and. Well, Paul Turner is an engaged man. He will be doing no such thing. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to influence a man of the integrity of Paul Turner. And now ODB trying to get the crowd behind her. She does still look confident, like you say. Big smile on the face of Faye. She's just excited now. As you said, a year she started in January 2015 in the Ring of Honor Dojo with Delirious. And uh, is ready to go now. Yep, oh, ODB ah. forced to go to the ropes. Faye with a little bit of an advantage here. Go behind and Faye got out of it. Go behind, ODB couldn't get out of it. And she's refueling here. <laughs> and I was talking to ODB before this huge Women of Honor match here tonight. And uh, she came down in her Jetstream trailer and she's been going across the country in that, oh, uh-oh, <laughs> down to the ground. Firing up oh. the packs. <laughs> Didn't face Faye though. Faye's got some, uh, some pectorals of her own. Well, you're the broadcast journalist. What size are those on Faye? <laughs> you know, Mrs. Riccoboni wouldn't let me do that kind of research, <laughs> Nigel. And now, going off the ropes here. Ducks the clothesline. ODB with a huge shoulder tackle. Not much mustard behind that clothesline attempt, and ODP easily ducks underneath. Yeah, so much for a young wrestler is about timing, knowing where your opponent is in the ring and connecting on that sweet spot like ODB just did. Indeed. Ooh, another one. Sweat flies. Faye's got to get out of that corner, though. Yeah, ODB now loading things up here. Oh, avalanche. That's a milk ride. But Faye connects with a clothesline. Wow, out of nowhere. She Go hit that one. Quick cover. Just a one count. Now, Nigel, you mentioned earlier, you remember your very first match. But what about for someone like ODB? When you were Ring of Honor champion, Ring of Honor world champion, you had to face young up-and-comers. 
Cool. Ooh, look at the strength here. Wait just a minute. Yeah. Wow. Thumbs are like a sack of spuds. Going for the cover here. One, two. Paul Turner says two, but you had to face young up and coming challengers all the time. How did you prepare for someone that might not have a whole lot of tape, might not have a whole lot of moves on film? I just stuck with my game plan. You know, I knew my game plan that got me there as a champion. And if it got me there, it will keep me there. That was always my viewpoint. Okay, laying it in here in the corner. Now Jackson brings ODB out. Ooh, connects with a big forearm of her own. Look at this, Jackson. Give it back. Not, not backing down here. Irish whip into the corner. And ODB goes down. Jackson a little slow to follow up, though, waiting a little bit too long. What is this? Opinion, yeah. Oh, charges in, misses. Playing possum there in the corner, ODB. Great veteran strategy. Now ODB with the advantage. Both women to their feet. Oh, and both go down. Shoulder tackle, but it looks like Faye Jackson got the worst of the wear on that one. Looks like that, ODB up to her knees first. Both of these competitors had the same idea. But given that this is the very first match for Faye Jackson, she's doing very well for herself. Absolutely, she's in there with a world-class competitor and she's trading forearms with her. Wow, the impact of that reverberating around Nashville. Both women with spaghetti legs. This is gut check time, Nigel. Evidently, this will be a big one. What happens here? It's the clothesline, Faye Jackson. Flying cross body, this could be it. One, two, oh. What an upset that would have been, Nigel. Huge upset. For Jackson to get a win here against ODB, this is going to propel us straight up towards the top. I don't think I've ever seen such an impressive debut as to beat a woman like ODB. And now she's got her in her crosshairs. Whoa! Uh-oh, she's coming off this side now. Another! This is the third. Third time's the charm. And this is what she calls the triple spun milkshake, Nigel. That's a move that she told me she was looking to uh, execute here against ODB. Going for the cover. One, two. Wow. And those sizable glutes may have rung the bell of ODB. They certainly have, but there really is a testament to the training at the Ring of Honor Dojo that after a year, you can be competitive with a competitor like ODB. And ODB. Oh, charges in, connects. Uh-oh. I think I know where this is going, Nigel. Oh, a Bronco Buster in the corner. Calling for some support. The crowd on Nash here in Nashville is giving it to her, Nigel. Well, this could be in. Can you, oh, that could can have been the bam. Up. Faye using her strength to maintain a vertical base, keep herself grounded. If it was her strength, I think it was her weight. They just kept her grounded there. Oh, oh strong kick to boot. the midsection into the corner. She's got a five count here. What do you call that, Ian? I believe this is something that ODB calls the Dirty Dozen. <laughs> is that something you could suggest to your missus, eh? Well, maybe, maybe not, but I don't. She's to the second rope on the inside. Here she comes. She connects with the death press cover. One, two, three. We'll send it to Scarlett Morneau for your winner. Your winner of the match, ODB! a testament to women of honor. The international star, the veteran ODB, did not take her opponent lightly. And Faye Jackson, a very impressive debut here in Women of Honor. Absolutely impressive debut. Showed us something. And I guarantee you, when we see her in the next match, she'll come out learning something from it. Absolutely. A product of the ROH Dojo, Faye Jackson took ODB to the limit here at Women of Honor. And we'll see you for our next match here in Nashville.